Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa. So, there's something absolutely huge has happened to Overwatch. We have this Mercy rework and we've got what is basically a D.Va rework. But in this video, I want to heavily focus on Mercy because I have been watching the reaction to this. And this is... Well, it's really, really interesting because there's two ways to look at this. And I guess the question of this video is, is this Mercy rework way too extreme? And is this dangerous that Overwatch seems to be going down this path of radically redesigning heroes, which obviously we've seen Roadhog. I mean, he's pretty much radically redesigned, although he's he, he did kind of go through minor nerfs and then all this kind of messing around. But then they just were like, OK, let's radically change one of his abilities, which is pretty heavy. Um, but anyway, Mercy has taken this to the next level. She is like a completely different hero. So I think before we get into this, I just want to state what the issue is. We've got a lot of Mercy players that play the old Mercy. Uh, and it currently is the old Mercy on live. And they've got used to playing that hero. Then Blizzard have radically changed the hero. Now, I want to go back to Roadhog again because Roadhog has been radically changed as a hero and D.Va as well. These heroes now no longer play the way they used to play. So Roadhog used to just flank and kill people. Now he can't do that. Uh, he's a tank that sort of has to play completely differently. D.Va used to use a defense matrix a lot. Now, on the PTR, she can't do that. In fact, she's been given missiles, which I think, as of the recording of this video, do 170 damage if all of the missiles hit you, which means she's got this extra 170 damage she can potentially do to people. So that makes her more of an assassin and less of a defense matrix tank. So you can't play her the same way you used to play her before. And that's what this video is all about. These radical changes to heroes and how it potentially can affect the game in negative and also positive ways. So let's go, let's rein this back in and let's bring this all the way back to Mercy. I want to state my opinion right now. Now remember, this is my opinion, guys. Now, I don't play Mercy. I, I, I don't think I've ever played um, more than maybe 50 games as Mercy, right? And I play a lot of games of Overwatch, so really that's like a drop in the ocean, yeah? And generally I'd play if I was, I don't know, part of a pharmacy or, you know, there was some, I don't know, there'd be some specific reason I'd do it. I wouldn't just select Mercy and go, oh, I'm going to play Mercy this game. Why wouldn't I do that? It's because I didn't like Mercy's gameplay, but that's me. You look at the type of player I am, guys. I like Soldier. I like Tracer. You know, I like um, Zarya, uh, Zen. I, I like heroes that are kind of uh, aim-based in a way um, that can sort of maybe do some damage to the team as well, where Mercy is like almost the complete opposite with that. She's this hero that completely supports the team, and I don't think I'd make a very good Mercy player. So really, that's probably why I didn't play her, to be honest. But there is loads of you guys out there that do play that Mercy and enjoy it. Anyway, let's just stay on my opinion right now because this, I just want to get this out of the way before we go into the video. I agree with the changes to Mercy because... Now, if you guys watch my Gamescom streams, you'll see I was really happy with, um, with the new Mercy. And even in the videos I put on the channel, I was really happy with the new Mercy because I feel like there's a flow to Mercy now. I feel like Mercy has something to do all of the time. The fact that she can go in and drop down a res um, and it's not an ultimate, it's just a 30-second a cooldown ability or if she pops her ultimate and, of course, she flies and all of that madness, it then becomes a 10-second res. But she can res, pop her ultimate, get a refresh on res, then res somebody else and then get a 10 second so she can do a lot of resin but you have to be in the fight because it's melee range so you have to pretty much be on top of the dead person to res them this means mercy now is flying all over the place in the combat trying to pick people up instead of just hiding waiting for everybody to die and in fact saying oh guys just die on the payload we've all heard this right guys die together die now i'm gonna res like mercy good mercy players would say that and you will die then you get res and it's, it's all great and it's all fine that's not going to happen anymore because the mercy can't hide the Mercy has to hide in plain sight, and they've kind of given her more tools to do that. So obviously with her ultimate, which makes her fly, so her ultimate now is Valkyrie. This makes her fly, and she moves really fast. It increases the range of her beams. It makes her beams chain onto targets, and what I mean by that is if you fire it at one guy in your team and somebody else is close enough, it will bounce onto them. And So basically, you can apply the beam to everybody on your team if they're close enough, so that means everybody gets a 30% damage buff or everybody gets a heal, which is, well, ridiculous. I think Mercy heal is 60 heal per second, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that. I think it's 60 though, I'm not sure. Um, so that's obviously really, really good. Um, but all of this means that Mercy is this hero that requires a completely different skill set. And this is the problem. While I agree with these changes, I am not a Mercy player. I'll repeat this again. While I agree with these changes, I am not a Mercy player. That is why I'm making this video, because there is going to be hundreds of thousands of you guys out there who are Mercy players, and I want your I want your thoughts in the comments below, because the problem I see with this, and I'm trying to look at this from 
um, maybe this is not like a, a typical video I would make because usually it would just be based heavily on you know my opinions and stuff like that. I'm trying to look at this from a more sort of um, neutral standpoint. I've given you my I've given you my ideas of the hero. I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. When I spoke to the devs uh, at Gamescom, I, I straight up asked them, and this is actually on the channel as well. Uh, the interview with uh, Scott Mercer. Why are you doing these radical changes to heroes? Like, why are you not just making minor changes? I think the example I gave was Diva's Defense Matrix. Um, all I really wanted for that was a visual representation that the Defense Matrix is about to stop working. So maybe it flashed red or something like that. Um, what they ended up doing was halving the, the time of the Defense Matrix and giving her missiles. It's like, okay, that seems a bit extreme. The problem they had with Mercy is they don't like the idea uh, and again, you can see this in all of the interviews I, I put on the channel. Um, however, I'll just break this down for you guys to save you watching that because it's like an hour and 20 minute video, but you should check it out. It's got a ton of information on loads of other topics as well. It's a very frank and, and open interview. Uh, it's more of a casual chat really than an interview. To call it an interview is kind of not right. Um, but what they wanted to do was get rid of this idea that Mercy just hides in a corner and then reses the team. In fact, Mercy is a support that actually wants the team to die, which doesn't make any sense because all support should be trying to keep the team alive, not saying just die and I'll bring you back, which is what Mercy was doing. And of course, we've all kind of been there where you, you invest a Graviton Surge and then maybe a Pulse Bond comes in and it wipes out the enemy team, but then Mercy just flies in and reses everyone because of course she was invulnerable when she rezzed, which she's not invulnerable anymore. And obviously it's not a, a mass res anymore, it's just a single target res. So it's a completely different thing but they wanted to get rid of that gameplay so the question i kind of then want to ask you guys and i i guess i did ask uh, blizz as well was like why why are we why have you just totally changed the character but their explanation was it felt fun and this is the thing that you've got to understand when they make changes to heroes they're doing it so they, they're fun Obviously, they need to be balanced, and balance will come. Like, the Mercy is a bit ridiculous. I'm no doubt you guys have seen clips of, like, uh, the Battle Mercy now in Valkyrie mode, flying around, killing everyone, because her weapon fires really, really fast and doesn't have to reload. But I've been told that's going to be nerfed. Um, in fact, again, this was in our dev interview with Scott. Basically, that's being nerfed to the point of uh, it will have lower fire rate, so she won't be able to do as much damage, so she won't be as crazy as she kind of was. But this is all besides the point. Like... This is a radical change to Mercy, and the reason they did this is because they didn't like old Mercy gameplay because they thought it revolved around hiding, they didn't think it was very involving. Now this is going to sound maybe, some people might take this wrong what I'm about to say, because I don't exactly mean this, but I don't want to say Mercy is a low skill hero, because she is not. That is not what I mean. What I'm trying to do is I guess say Mercy is a high impact hero compared to other heroes that require maybe more work to have a high impact like if you compare a tracer to a mercy tracer needs to be like absolutely in the right position all the time with fantastic aim and just like doing tons of work whereas mercy just needs to get that res off at the right time and everything was kind of okay it was less demanding i'm not saying that mercy is easy to play guys because she's not i can't play mercy at the level i play the game at which is just you know that's just how it is you know i can't really play her i would try and play her if the team wanted me to and i was in the position to do it but i would not really play because i don't know really when to res properly well, i know when to res but i'd get confused in the fights and it'd be bad you know good mercy players would sort of control their team they'd say you know um uh, soldier use tack visor I'm going to damage boost you or they would say guys die together I'm going to pop the res you know or, or she'd say save your ultimates I'm going to res then we can use our ultimates after we come back so th there were really good mercy players out there the problem I've got though and I think this is what's causing what is literally a massive negative backlash I've seen the post on the official forums I've seen the post on reddit I've seen all of the tweets that I've been getting on twitter and even like my twitch chat when I was streaming at, at gamescom was full of this people do not like this change because it is, it's changing Mercy from this, can I even call it an entry-level hero? Again, that sounds offensive, I don't mean that. What, like, okay, let me try and break this down, because I don't want you guys to be taking words out of my mouth and going, oh my god, what the hell is Sty saying? Like, what I am trying to say is Mercy doesn't require you to be able to aim, very much like Winston and very much like Reinhardt. These are heroes with different skill sets. So with Winston and Ryan, you need to know about the flow of the game, uh, you know, your positioning, etc. With Mercy, it was a completely different game. Yeah, if you were going to kill people with Mercy's, pers uh, Mercy's pistol, then yeah, sure, you needed to have aim, right? But that was not, you really didn't use that, only in desperate situations. Mostly it's about healing and damage boosting and using res at the right time. And Mercies that worked this out and became very proficient with it were awesome players and they rose through the ranks. So what I'm saying is, I don't mean she's easy, I don't mean she's basic, I mean that she's not a standard, like atypical kind of uh, FPS 
character, right? She's not soldier. Like, I wouldn't expect a Mercy player to be able to play soldier. Just like I might be a soldier player and I can't play Mercy, so it kind of works both ways. But what I'm trying to say is she was not as complicated as she is now. I think we're going to be in a situation where there's a lot of Mercy mains out there who will really struggle because Mercy has a lot of things going on now. I mean, I'm going to break this down because it is really complicated. I mean, it takes a lot for me to get my head around this. So, when you spawn as Mercy, like, imagine you're in like the first, this is just the first attack you push out. Mercy has one res available. So if somebody dies, Mercy can go over to them and res them straight away. That's pretty simple, but she needs to be in melee range. So she can Guardian Angel over to them, but then she might be trapped and might get killed. So she's got to be clever with that. She can fire a pistol if she likes, she can damage boost and she can heal. And that's what she's going to be doing, yeah? And then she's going to be waiting for 30 seconds for a res to come up. That's kind of the start of Mercy. But then when her ultimate's available, she has so many different options, it is frankly insane. Somebody asked me and said, Sty, um, ask the devs when I was interviewing them, is there ever going to be a hero a hero with, like Symmetra with multiple ultimates? Well, we've, we've got this. This is Mercy. Mercy's ultimate beefs up all of her abilities. It basically makes res a 10-second cooldown and instantly refreshes it. But where it becomes an alternate ability, an alternate ultimate in a way, is you can either damage boost or you can either heal. And this is pretty much for the entire team, bar, you know, maybe a Genji or Tracer that's off flanking. If the rest of the team is together, you're either going to give them all damage boost and then give them all healing. And you can change between this. But not only that, you can Guardian Angel in and res people during the fight. The gameplay to me is completely next level. This is like phenomenal design. This is like we're all over the place doing loads of stuff. But the problem is, this is radically different to the old Mercy. So what I want you guys to do in the comments below, because I could talk about this forever, but I think I've pretty much made my thoughts clear. In fact, let me just recap my thoughts. I agree with these changes because it makes Mercy more interesting to play for me. However, I also disagree with these changes because it's changed the hero in a radical way, which might result, well, which has resulted really, in a lot of people kind of being miffed at the fact that Mercy is totally different. Like, what the hell? They're going to have to learn the hero again. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below and don't hold back. Remember, all feedback is good feedback and we're all trying to make the game a better place. What do you think of the Mercy changes? And if you're not a Mercy player, what do you think of this kind of philosophy of heavy sort of radical reworks that we seem to be in right now no longer does it seem to be about little minor balance changes it seems to be about let's just radically change a hero because we don't like the way that hero is working guys i've been solo so this is unit lost if you like the video then like the video subscribe to the channel you can follow me on twitter which is at unit lost gaming join the discord as well guys where you can discuss mercy as well in fact there's like thirty thousand people in there discussing mercy as we speak uh, which is discord.gg forward slash unit lost and i will catch you on the next one guys toodaloo